Hey MSers, this is Johnny MS and today we're going to talk about the issues I've had while using my handicap placard. My mission is to share my journey and to show you that you're not alone and that we're in this together. Be sure to leave me comments so that I can understand what I need to improve. This is still a new channel so I'm always looking for things that I can make even better for you guys. Most of my issues with using a handicap placard were my own. I had to prove to myself that I needed it. It was really hard. I would go through Home Depot and I'd come out and I'd limp like crazy all the way to my car. Once I started using the handicap placard, I understood how awesome it was to not have to walk to the very back of the parking lot and my life changed. I can walk. My issue with MS right now is that my walking gets a little rough if I walk too much or if I stand too long. My doctor says it's due to leg weakness, which is a very common MS issue. Many of you, I hate to say it, but many of you might be in uh, wheelchairs or may use a cane at all times. I'm not there yet. There are times where I can walk into a store by the time I'm walking out, I'm limping really bad and I'm very thankful that I'm parked near the front door. You guys, some of you might be in a wheelchair, some of you might be in canes and you're probably saying, oh, this guy can walk still. Mine's getting worse, so I don't want you to think that I'm in a great spot. I'm kind of not. It's like, I can live my life pretty normally, but things aren't getting better, they're getting a little worse. My issues happen when I walk too long or stand too long. My doctor calls it leg weakness and it's very common in the MS world. I haven't used a cane yet or anything, but that's probably my next move is that if I have issues walking all the time, I'm probably gonna go to a cane next. I haven't decided yet. So I just wanna make it really clear that it's been a mental battle to start using the placard, but now I use it often is what I'm gonna say. I would say 80% of the time I decide to use it because you never know when my walking is gonna act up. So uh, one of the big issues I have is that I get a lot of looks. I get a lot of people staring at me when I get out of my truck when I'm parked at the handicap spot. I get a lot of looks and I can just see judgment in their face. Like, I can walk decently out of my truck. When I'm walking out of my truck, people look and they're like, you don't need the handicap spot. You're not in a wheelchair. You uh, you don't have a cane. You're, uh, you're walking just fine. And I would not say my walking is 100%. I would say 85% when I'm not limping. And when I'm limping, it's pretty bad. I would say 10 to 20%. That's where I'm at right now is that it's pretty tough to park in the handicap when I go somewhere because I feel like people are judging me and I just need you to not care what they think. That's just an issue I have is that I care too much what other people think when I should not. We have issues, we need to own up to them and we need to have people just judge us if they want. They don't understand that it's an invisible disease. We're not going to be able to fix it. It's not a cure, there's not a cure. So there have been times where I'll go park in the handicap spot and I'll just decide that I need to add a little bit extra to my walking. I'll limp a little bit or I'll limp a little bit more because there's so many people watching me and they're all just staring at me. They're all like, they're all thinking the same thing. They're all like, why is that guy parking in the handicap spot when I had to park in the back of the parking lot? Why is it that he gets to park in the front when he can walk just fine? That's the issue I'm having. These are perfect strangers, so we just need to not care what they think. I haven't had to renew my placard yet, so I would love some advice. Maybe add a comment on tips on what I'm going to need to do. I think it's up in a few months, and I would love to hear some feedback on what I should do and what I should expect. I don't know if I just go take the placard and exchange it out for a new one, 
I don't know if I need to go to my doctor and get a prescription so I can take up there with the forms or whatever. It's not really a prescription, it's like a form that the doctor um, gives you. So I don't know what to expect. We have two uh, placards, one for my wife's car, one for my car. So every time I'm in her car, I ask her to park in the handicap. I would love to hear about any handicap experiences that you've had where maybe they're the same as mine or worse. I would love to hear it and so I'm ready to understand what to expect. Is that I think, I mean especially at the hospital or any other places, the handicaps are usually full. But I bet you there are tons of people that have used them and have gotten the same feedback, uh, faces from many different people.